Dennis gets the victory here in game number one, nine seven over Dickinson. And Mike, your kids uh, really, when you look at the numbers, the faceoff numbers somewhat defy logic for you today. But at the same time, happy with your team's efficiency on offense when they did get the ball, they seem to do a lot of good things with it. Yes, we were very happy with that. Um, you know, certainly we were a little di disappointed in the faceoffs a little bit that way. But we earned our ground balls in the other part of the field a little bit. I think we, uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a highly competitive game, and the ground balls could give us a chance. Uh, considering that we wanted to kind of. Again, not necessarily slow the game down, but kind of you know maintain some possession. Obviously, having the ground balls was kind of a key thing. Not winning them in the faceoffs makes your individual ground balls or right. other ground balls in the game that much more important. I thought we did a pretty good job of handling those. We didn't real well in the third period when they kind of jumped ahead of us. I think we missed a couple of scoops and uh, some bad passes uh, in the clearing games that gave them opportunities. They were able to take advantage of it, but we gutted it out and it was a, a great win for us, certainly. Chris Thomas and your defense in the fourth quarter, superb to give you guys a chance uh, not only to uh, get even eventually there and then obviously preserve the lead late. Uh, yeah, all we of them were, came uh, up with big We were plays. very excited about that. Uh, you know, Chris has played very well this season so far. Um, it's been great for him. He didn't get a chance to play a lot last year. He kind of got, you know, got beat out by a couple players and came back this uh, this fall and this spring, really dedicated himself, working hard, and it's nice to see him get the reward. But we were not great on defense last weekend, and uh, that was kind of a good wake-up call for us in many cases. And I thought we really, you know, gritted down and made them take some uh, – Difficult shots that Chris was able to save, and, and ones that we kind of broke down, he was uh, able to save again, or they hit the pipe. We were a little fortunate at times today. Key to get the balance you did on offense here today. Well, I don't know if there was a plan to it necessarily, uh, but Blair Farenholt was one of our better players. 27 was a little ill, so that was a little challenging. So we had to have other guys step up. But you know, you know scoring nine goals, you you really got to put your uh, put your faith in your defense. In many cases, most college coaches will tell you, you know, you score 10, you think you can win. You know, below that, then you're really kind of being fortunate. So we were really counting on our defense to kind of help us out, and I think we just were able to get opportunities that uh, guys were able to finish who were pretty good players, and we were glad that they were able to do that. You guys come to an event like this, you get a chance to play a couple of good opponents, obviously a, a, a great a ranked opponent here today, Naz, coming up tomorrow. Uh, thoughts on, on an event like this and what this can do for you uh, to give you all an even bigger boost uh, off this 5 and one start? Well, I think it's always great to be able to do this. So, you know, Paul invited us, uh, you know, that, and the last time we were not able to make it due to some different scheduling issues. Uh, it seems like a wonderful venue so far. It's very challenging, you know, to play two great games like this in, the, in two days. As you can imagine, it's a wonderful event for lacrosse to have so many teams, all great teams in the top 20 in the country playing on one venue. Right. You know, Mustang Stadium, the people here have been terrific so far, you know what I mean, which has always been that way when we've come. So, I mean, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. Obviously, when you win one, it's a little easier <laughs> than when you lose, certainly, uh, you know, because it's two tough games. But we'll have to see. Hopefully, we'll play well again tomorrow. But for us, it was kind of a uh, we're, uh, we're kind of a work in progress. So, we were very excited to win today because Dickinson had been playing very well, and they've been a very good, strong team throughout the season. So, hopefully, it'll boost our confidence a little bit as we go forward from here. All right, congratulations on the win. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Look forward to it. All right, Dennis and Naz coming up first game tomorrow. And, of course, you can catch all the action all weekend long right here on sfmsports.net.